quick tutorial here. Hopefully you all can hear me well enough, my low voice. Otherwise I'll just have to do narration. So what I'm going to demonstrate here is everybody, when you're doing pouring for acrylic or for resin, uh, always want to level things out. And there's a lot of different ways to do it. I was looking around for something to do that used a common everyday object, something easy to make, not that expensive and functional. And the other day I was in the bathroom looking at all these bottles that we have collected over time of just basically your typical CVS type or Walgreens type medicine bottle. And usually if you're in the United States because of our healthcare, either you or somebody you know probably has plenty of these and is usually throwing them away. Uh, what I'm going to show here is how you can use a one quarter 20 by two inch bolt along with a connecting bolt, which is again, the same thread count uh, to assemble it into what we put Cindy and I call a lifter. And once you get this, once you get this particular uh, setup created, what we're going to do is put resin. I'm going to happen to use uh, stone coat quick coat because I have some left over that's a bit old. It'll still work, but uh, I'm going to put it in here and put the top down like this. Then when it cures, the difference between the end of the bolt and the end of the, the difference between the end of the bolt and the end of this nut, obviously you don't want to go too far because you don't want to resin the, the, resin the two together completely. So I'm only going to put it in about, you know, to a depth about this much in the bottom of this. When that cures, the resin is going to stick to this really well. This is plastic. It won't stick completely, but then it's not going to be under stress either. You're not looking to, uh, you're not, there's not going to be a lot of stress. You're not going to be twisting it or anything like that. So it shouldn't be a problem coming out. But when the resin's in there, we set it down, put in, you know, after having put in about, I don't know, it's going to be a small amount. It's not very much resin. You want to put in uh, up to about, maybe at the most uh, half an inch. And once that's done, it cures, and then you'll be able to turn it upside down, twist this up and down, and it'll raise and lower. Once it's done, I'll give you a quick demonstration of how that works. Okay, regarding the tools you're gonna need, I'm gonna try and keep this. There's faster ways to do it. I don't wanna use a drill. Um, we need to put a, a, a hole through the center of the cap that this plastic is gonna to tend to want to split. If you use a drill and just kind of blast through it, it may work, but it's gonna cause uh, potential split problems. So I, what I do is I start with a knife to make a small hole. You want a regular screwdriver that has a standard tip like this, which is gonna be about a quarter inch across. Basically, um, it's just a little bit smaller than the quarter 20 bolt. And then you're gonna need, obviously, your whatever resin you choose to use, mixing cup, stuff to mix it in. And then what I use here, again, just for simplicity, use a uh, board or something that has a hole in it that you can center the, center the cap over. And I'll demonstrate why that is. Again, it's to try and keep it from splitting as well as when you push through any debris that comes off that you'll see it kind of, you'll see it kind of cones outward and you want that going this direction so that when the cup is upside down, it's not a problem. All right, I'm gonna get started here. So the first thing we're gonna do is start the hole in the cap. You wanna place a sharp blade as close to the center as you can, and then try and keep it centered over the hole. And with moderate pressure, just start rotating like this. You don't wanna rotate the knife, just simply because safety, it's safer to just have it straight like this. And then get kind of a hole in the center going. If you have to press a little harder, that's fine. But as you rotate it, it's gonna to get tough because the blade's gonna be cutting into the plastic. And then, you know, again, making sure it's centered. When, once it starts to go through, you get it centered over the little hole here, and you can start to press down. 
and it's kind of hard to see. I know my hands are in the way. And you'll start to form a, a hole through this and you can see it's starting to push out here. So once you get your holes completely through like this, you can, you can then take the screwdriver bit and just kind of work it in there until it goes through. And it'll come through like this. And you don't necessarily have to go all the way down through this particular shaft. You just want up to up to where up to where it's up to where it starts. So, and then once that hole is complete, you're gonna have roughly the same size here. And it's important to not, it's one of the reasons it's important to not go beyond the size of this particular shaft, because then this will go right through and it'll defeat the purpose. About this size, you go ahead and you can thread it through and it's tough, it keeps it nice, it's nice and firm. So you wanna go through and twist this on Okay, and once it's against once it's against the top like this, it's going to stand relatively straight. So that's that part done. The next part is basically you need to thread this this particular quarter twenty connector onto the thread or onto the, the bolt, and then you want to be able to put this in here and have it almost touching but not touching, and that's important. You can bump it down to about there. And the importance of having it not touching is that when you set this in here, gravity's gonna pull it straight down and it'll hang straight. So basically it's ready to go. I'm gonna mix up some resin and then uh, continue the video uh, when it's ready to pour in. mixed up, mixed it really quick and so it's really opaque and there's lots of air in it, but that's not a big deal. So again, the bolt here is just far enough that it'll hang into the resin, but on the inside there's the bolt itself is has enough clearance that when it cures it's not going to be stuck there. So the idea is to fill the fill the cup, then put this in on top and let it cure that way, then when it's done, it'll be functional. So I'm gonna go ahead and set these up so I can get a couple of them made. And then we're gonna pour the resin. It's not gonna take a lot. Uh, I only mixed up a couple ounces, which is still going to be a bit way, probably way too much. I'm thinking ahead, one of the things you can probably do also is <clears throat> mark the outside of the bottle if you want. I'm going to go ahead and test that. You can see here that the resin is not that deep yet, so I can go, go through and pour a little bit more in because you want it to de definitely want it to be have a bit more of a grip. There we go. So that's kind of hard to see, but about that much. I know it's not touching the bolt. So what you want to do is go through and just center that. Same with these. Pour some in. It's almost like checking the oil on a car. Make sure it's about right. And then with, this, with the quick coat, it's gonna be done relatively quickly. Uh, stuff will really cures fast, be about an hour, and it'll be done. Uh, there, if you choose the other ones, just wait till the proper amount of time for a hard cure and once it's done 
here I will come back and show you the results. All right, so I waited for the uh, resin to cure, and I'm gonna got one of these that's apart. You can sort of see in there the resin, and the nut is nice and tight in there. This is just basic. Um, had it slip a little bit when it came out. Uh, Cindy was suggesting using something like Loctite to bond the plastic to the metal if that runs into problem. I um, Stuff pretty worked pretty well, but I didn't want to try it. I kind of wanted to go with, you know, what's the cheapest possible route you can go with on these. Um, this one here uh, gets a little tight when you put it in, but basically, now that it's solid, and they wiggle and things like that, but when you, but you basically can rotate it like this and lift or lower whatever board you have sitting on the, the we call them lifters, and uh, you get a set of four of them or make them any one. Um, again, you just use the like medicine bottles and one quarter 20 bolts that are two inches long and connector nuts that, got one over here, they're called connector nuts. They're about this long. They usually come in packs of three. The tip of this has a certain width to it. Uh, these are pretty standard for screwdrivers. There's all sorts of different kinds. You just want to make sure that the size between the bolt and the end of the, the bit here, that the bit is just a little bit smaller. That way it grips when it goes in here. Again, if it ends up being loose or something like that, uh, and Cindy did suggest using something like Loctite that will not lock the that will glue the metal to the plastic without any problem. And while it's it would take a lot of Loctite if you want to, you could probably use it on the inside here as well if you need to. Uh, but that's it. Um, hope you can get some use out of this. And it's a pretty simple way to uh, create you know, allow you to level your boards and things like that for when you're pouring.